Hey, have you heard about this new diet called the keto diet? It's been gaining a lot of popularity lately. Yeah, I've heard of it. It's a low carb, high fat diet, right? People say it can help with weight loss and provide other health benefits. Exactly. The main idea behind the keto diet is to shift your body into a state of ketosis where it burns fat for fuel instead of carbohydrates. By drastically reducing your carb intake and increasing your fat consumption, you force your body to use fat as its primary energy source. That sounds interesting, but isn't it difficult to follow? I mean, cutting out carbs completely seems like a big change in one's diet. It can be a significant adjustment, especially for those used to consuming a lot of carbohydrates. Initially, you have to limit your carb intake to around 20 to 50 grams per day, depending on your specific needs. This means saying goodbye to foods like bread, pasta, rice, and most sugary treats. I can see how that could be challenging. But what about the fat? Isn't it unhealthy to consume high amounts of fat? That's a common concern, but the keto diet focuses on consuming healthy fats such as avocados, nuts, seeds, and olive oil. It emphasizes quality fats rather than processed or unhealthy ones. The idea is to provide your body with the necessary fats to replace the missing carbs and maintain energy levels. So, is the keto diet solely for weight loss? While many people do turn to the keto diet for weight loss, it's not the only benefit. By reducing carbs and sugar, it can help stabilize blood sugar levels and improve insulin sensitivity. Some studies even suggest that it may have positive effects on certain health conditions like epilepsy and type 2 diabetes. That's interesting. But what about the long-term effects? Is it safe to follow the keto diet for an extended period? The long-term effects are still being studied, as the diet gained popularity relatively recently. Some experts argue that following a strict keto diet for a prolonged period may have potential risks, such as nutrient deficiencies and an increased risk of heart disease. It's important to consult with a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian before making any drastic dietary changes. That's good advice. It's always essential to approach any diet with caution and seek professional guidance. I've also heard that some people experience what's called the keto flu when they first start the diet. Have you heard about it? Yes, the keto flu is a common side effect experienced by some individuals during the initial phase of the diet. It's characterized by symptoms like fatigue, headaches, nausea, and irritability. These symptoms usually subside after a few days as the body adjusts to the new way of eating. Overall, it seems like the keto diet can be beneficial for weight loss and other health goals but it requires careful planning and consideration. It's definitely not a one-size-fits-all approach. Absolutely. It's essential to listen to your body and make sure you're getting all the necessary nutrients while following the keto diet. It's not suitable for everyone, but for those who find success with it, it can be a valuable tool in achieving their health goals. Well, thanks for sharing all this information. I'll definitely do some more research before considering whether the keto diet is right for me. You're welcome. Remember, it's always best to make informed decisions about your health. Let me know if you have any more questions.